Let's take a look at how you work with images in Motif. Here's a great picture of Valerie from her fifth birthday party. Looks good, but I like to see more of Valerie and less of the room. So let's see what we can do. Let's start by selecting the picture. Now we have the image control palette below it. And the first thing I want to do is zoom the image so we get more of Valerie. Okay, now that I've zoomed it, I can use the grabber hand to kind of move it over in the frame there. That's looking good, maybe a little bit more zoom. All right, looking good. Next, I'd like to rotate it just to add a little bit of dynamism to it. So I'm gonna select the rotate tool here. And now I'm gonna rotate it just a tad, just to make it a little edgier. There we go, that looks great. Okay, finally, um, I remember that there were a bunch of takes of this image, uh, and I wanna see if there's any better ones than the one I've got. So when I select a similar images icon, I get a browser that shows me all the different takes of this image. Uh, and I can select each one and see how it looks. Okay, that one's a little washed out. That's where we were. It has a little white dot under it. This one seems nearly identical. Yeah, okay, I think I'm just going to stick with where we were. So I'll select it again, and it looks great. Finally, I think I'd like to make this image just bigger on the page because it looks really good now. So I'm going to use the Change Layout dialog box here just to pick a nice big layout here. I double clicked it to select it, and there we are. The last thing to show you is how to move an image. So if I wanted to move this image, potentially to the other page, I could select it, here's my palette, and selecting the Move tool, I now get a handle I can use to drag the image to the other page. And if I want to drag it back, because I do prefer it on the Argyle background, I can select the Move tool again and simply drag it back. And there you have it. And that is how you work with images magically in Motif. We hope you enjoyed this introduction to Motif. For more tutorial videos, help, and support, visit us at www.motifphotos.com support.